Today is a protein shake vibe because I don't need other coffee and I just got out of the gym. But hey, what's up, everyone? It's Chase, aka That Gay Jedi, and welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm very excited to be sharing some thoughts on The Little Mermaid, live action, remake, Disney vibes, you know what they're doing. Um, and I kind of want to just talk about the movie for a little bit and also spend a little bit of time talking about 40X because I did see this film in 40X and it changed my life. Um, so first and foremost, I think this movie is one of the stronger Disney live action remakes. And I think that it's like, I left the movie, I'm like, this is a good movie. Like it's a solid movie. I don't think it's like the most amazing movie ever made, but I think they did a really pretty damn good job with it. And it's solid. Um, first and foremost, the cast is amazing. Obviously Holly ba Bailey, Holly Bailey is incredible. Um, and like her voice, her performance, the vulnerability and like the innocence she brings to Ariel, I think is something that's like, honestly, only she could have done. And she did a fucking bang up job of it because to play a role like Ariel as like a grown woman, live action, not cartoon, not voiceover, I think is a tall like order. And yet she did such a brilliant job with it. And I've never like, my heart's never broken harder for Ariel. And I think it's just because of the way that innocence she brought to the role. Um, Melissa McCarthy also like, I have my notepad, I mean, not really, but like my mental notepad, um, ready to tear her apart, to be completely honest. Like I just didn't really like think that she was gonna slay it. You guys, she, slayed it like that that performance is such a strong part of the movie i think she's just incredible in the role and it was so fun to see her like really deliver some like acting chops javier bardem is incredible Divi diggs is great of course and i'm um, honestly surprising but aquafina like she was kind of serving like she was good in that movie and she was like perfect casting for scuttle whose like whole thing is just supposed to be like obnoxious loud mouth bird vibes um so she did great loved the cameo by jody benson too by the way um the music was great oh i mean all well it was okay it was good the new music was decent i think that like the best addition to the movie was um the second rep reprise of part of your world like that is like again like such a heartbreaking moment that holly did did such a great job with where it's like that really gives the whole like and then this mermaid let herself turn into sea foam thing and like just doesn't really like want to live anymore vibes and i'm just saying that it was like such a heartbreaking reprise and it was beautifully performed and beautifully written so i love that also like hot take but i love the scuttlebutt you guys scuttlebutt is like my new personality it's now instead of saying i'm spilling the tea i say I, what's the scuttlebutt what give me the scuttlebutt because if there's one thing i love in a musical is it it's a song about um gossip and it's a song about like you know it's like a telephone bye bye birdie but like you know it's just like spreading the gossip it's like everything Kendra says is a lie from 13 the musical so i gotta say scuttlebutt really hit for me i thought it was really funny a really good time um Daughters of Triton was missing, which is a huge missed opportunity, especially because the Daughters of Triton were all gorgeous and like amazing. So Daughters of Triton not being in there, demerit. Um, also, Under the Sea to me was the most disappointing number because they took away like all of the background vocals and like all of like the fun like instrumentals and like wackiness and zaniness of that song from the animated movie and like Holly Bailey just like wonderful vocals for like like backup vocals under David, but like the whole point of the song to me is like stay under the sea like this shit is lit and like they just gave it us to that like visually in that number but they weren't giving it to us like musically and so to me that that song really fell flat um especially like when he's talking about we have a hot crustacean band i'm like where's the band where's the band sebastian um poor and poor unfortunate souls and kiss the girl i think are the two strongest numbers again melissa mccarthy's performance is incredible and also kiss the girl is just really romantic and i also love how they like weren't afraid to have ariel and eric be like pretty hot like they were like mature do you know what I mean like that was like sexy vibe so i love that um honestly the vibes on the movie are just like i thought it was really funny like i was laughing really hard i had a good time i was very emotionally invested again i like the eric and ariel being able to kind of be sexualized in a way um and like ha have a charge between them i will say the last like 10 to 20 minutes of the movie didn't really land for me i think that like we could have wrapped it up a lot faster and i would have felt a lot better but like it kind of lagged a little bit towards the end like once we got big ursula which i'm so happy we got big ursula that was the one thing i wanted and i got it so i'm happy um but yeah after that i'm like okay we could have wrapped that up faster um but anyway that's my thoughts on the movie now we just need to talk about 40x because this is my first time seeing a movie in 40x since like high school so it's been about like 
11 to 12 years since I have seen a movie in 40X. And boy oh boy has the technology changed. Because when I saw a movie in 40X back in the day, the chairs would just go like this. Now it's like a roller coaster where they go like up and around and all around and like, you go fast. Like you don't just like rock and roll, you rock, roll, Paw Patrol, do you know what I mean? And they, the water, spraying water, yeah, okay. Also, I should probably tell you guys for like, people who don't know, 40X movies, like rain, thunder, lightning, wind, water um, simulation, like all this good shit. And with specifically The Little Mermaid, like we when we filed into the theater, again, I'm not thinking it's gonna be that, I'm not thinking it's gonna be shit. But this person behind us goes, and I think he had seen it in 40X already. He goes, just wait for the shark attack. And I was like, I was like, what, what does that mean? Um, and I remember the shark attack in the animated movie, but I forgot about it. And then like, once it started happening, you guys, I was like tossed like a salad. Like I am I would show you, but I'm gonna knock my phone over. But like, I was like really like flying all over the place. And there's something about watching a movie, like a, like a playful movie, but it's like live action. It's not a cartoon. So, you're just like watching like this, like hu these human things happen, like with a real shark and you're getting tossed. It honestly was kind of scary. And like, there's like a harpoon shot where a harpoon went through the water or a fishing spear. And like, I would like felt like a jolt in my back. It was like, and then when the number one thing is I started taking a sip when Ariel's on land and she like takes the reins from Eric to try to like guide the horse on the cart. I spilt water like all over my face and my chest because it was that violent. And I was living. I was like screaming, clapping, laughing. And the whole audience was great. Like everyone in there was like also screaming and laughing and crying. It was like incredible. So honestly, if this video is nothing else, it is it is it is me trying to push an agenda to get everyone to see this movie in 4DX, if it is still in 4DX, because I'm just looking to go back. You know what I mean? It, it uh, changed my life. I also think it really did a great job of like, keeping me invested in the movie and keeping me awake and keeping me on my toes and literally on the edge of my seat um, because I almost fell out once. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna start seeing everything in 4DX. My next plan is to see Indiana Jones in 4DX. I don't even wanna see the new Transformers movie, but I'm probably gonna see it in 4DX just because it's that much of a riot. I mean, it was also like so wild. There was like even like Ariel and Eric, like spoiler alert, they hugged at one point and like my chair went boom when they hugged and I was like, oh my God, I am like in this hug with them. So 40X, you guys, I, I feel like I stepped into like a whole subculture and and I feel, I feel like I was very welcomed in that space and I want to live more in 40X. I want to see more movies in 40X. And honestly, it's kind of like a nice little lesson I've been trying to push myself like to trying new things, trying new foods, trying new things that I thought I would never do. And um, Turns out trying new things is fun. Keeps you young, keeps you excited, keeps you bouncing. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on The Little Mermaid. Please let me know what your thoughts are. Also let me know if you've ever seen a movie in 40X and what your opinion is on that. Um, but yeah, what'd you think of The Little Mermaid? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you all so much for watching. It means the world and gave the force be with you always.